So today I'm gonna to install a channel drain system along the edge of this concrete patio, so stick around. So the goal here was to serve kind of like a gutter system. I wanted to capture the water that comes off the roof, drains down the patio, capture it in the channel drain, and then divert it all the way to the far backyard. And this is gonna help with my drainage with the new retaining wall system I just put in. The first thing I need to do is dig out enough space to insert the channel drain and the necessary plumbing. So in my case, it took three of these drain assemblies here in there, I think about six feet long piece. So next up, I'm just gonna cut it to fit and I'm gonna run this drain basically from that step to that corner. So I line them up, here's my overlap, and make just a little mark here, and then that's where I'll cut. I presume I can cut this with a hacksaw, because it's PVC. Not bad for a hacksaw cut. But if you had a miter saw or something, it might be a better way to do it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the cap on this end. Termination cap slides over, snaps the place. And then I'm going to turn around and make this way my termination end. And then I'll attach these together. These are the straight factory ends that should go together a little bit better. Now I'm going to go ahead and attach all the channels together and make one long fixed piece. In this case, it comes with this coupling and you just use PVC cement and attach them together. So I'm gonna give that a shot now. This is nice because it has kind of a middle mark. Then do the same thing to the other side. All right. Everything all glued up, I'm gonna kind of dry fit this in the slot here. So I just found out that the adhesive on this side is old. So I'm going to re-glue this. I'm going to use the primer this time. I didn't use primer last time, so I use a primer and I think it'll be good to go. So we're going to try to do this again. We're going to try to put the whole piece in for a dry fit. This end does not stick, damn it. Well, I'm obviously having problems with the adhesive holding this together. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drill some pilot holes and we're sticking some stainless little, little bolts in this case to just kind of snug everything down just for extra assurance. Really once it's in place, it's not a big deal, but I'm gonna keep it as square as I can. So I'm gonna pre-drill, put these in, and we should be good to go. Okay, I'm gonna try it for the third time now. Put this in. Much better so far. There we go. All right. So the goal here is to have this drain pitched a little bit that way so the water obviously runs down that way to the drain exit. But what I want to do here is keep it about two inches off the existing concrete pad. So I've got it set in this corner. I'm going to drop it back to keep that two inch spacing off. I'm going to use a cut piece of drain that I have that's two inches. I use that as a spacer and then just kind of block it up as I go and then backfill with cement. And that two inches will do a couple things for me. That two inches buffer, it will let me kind of ramp the water down and it will give me kind of a play area because the concrete's not super clean on the edge of the patio, so I can't really put it flush. And two, it will help secure it in there. And two inches is the minimum thickness for this type of concrete. So that should keep it kind of structurally sound, hopefully. So I use these wood stakes to temporarily brace this drain off in place and I'm keeping a pitch it's highest there lowest there so the water should trickle down I left a little space so I can fill that with like a little concrete ramp and hold it nice in place now I'm just gonna rinse down the cavity here real quick just to clean things up for a pool concrete Okay, so I let the concrete set up overnight. Now I'm just coming back and cleaning up the top grate with a sanding block. And then what I need to do now is I need to attach this drain channel system to a plumbing line 
that goes to the backyard. Now, when I was building the wall, I went ahead and I set in a four inch diameter drain pipe. And so all I really need to do is attach this to that pipe and then we have ourselves a drain system. This is my existing drain pipe that I put in when I built the wall. And this is what I'm gonna to attach to. So the pipe that comes off of the drain itself is one and a half inch. This is a four inch pipe. So I have a T fitting here like this. And basically what I do is break down my one and a half inch to fit this four inch. So I've got a series of couplings to do that. And I don't think I'm gonna glue any of this in case I wanna make adjustments down the road. It's pretty firm connection. Um, I may glue this little one because it's kind of loose, but other than that, I'll put this in here not glued. This will go down like that, and then I'll run my pipe connecting it to the drain. So I'm just loose fitting the pipe. This is a whole 10-foot section piece of pipe, and I made a mark where I want to cut it to fit in there. And I'll cut this and stick it together, and I think what I'll do is attach that side first. I'll pull this back out, slide it in and then push the whole thing down in order to keep stress off of that joint there. So this is a big enough piece of PVC that I can't use my regular PVC cutters. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the same Sawzall that I used to cut the big pipe. And I'm using a fine tooth blade here to do the cut. This drain kit comes with these little end caps that go on the end of the channel drain and it has a little knockout in it. And so since I'm gonna attach my pipe, I went ahead and knocked it out and I will put a little piece of pipe in and I'll cut it. It just sits in there loose. It's one thing I don't really like about this design, but as far as I know, it's just supposed to sit in there loose. There's, there's nothing in the literature that says otherwise. Then I'll have my 45 on this side that will go to the other pipe. So I put on this flat cap while I was pouring the concrete just to keep things clean. I'm gonna remove that. There we go. Let me run some water first to clean this pipe out. <laughs> just ran a little water to clean out some of the dirt before I put this cap on. Now I can slide this one on. Okay. Now I'm gonna simply slide this in. On this end, I'm going to assemble this first. Okay. And then we'll put this on here. So turn the water on to test it. Everything is hooked up. There we go, we are draining water into our drain. Okay, water's still on, coming down the drain. And then here is the end of our pipe. And we have a drain going. So there you go. So pretty stoked everything's working. This project is pretty much wrapped up. All I gotta do now is backfill. And to cap this T-piece off, all I'm gonna do is add this little drain grate. And I'm just gonna dry fit it in like this. And essentially this is just going to serve as an access point for me if I want to do any clean outs. So that's how I installed this channel drain system. If there's any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing and giving the video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.